ready to go with this one. Number seven of eight regular season Bassmaster Elite Series events. And Mark Zona, Tommy Sanders here Ooh. with you. We have never been with the Elite Series to this place, the St. Lawrence River. We go to a lot of great, fantastic, unique bass fishing places, but there's no place exactly like this one. Exactly, and really a few people can argue with this. We're here in Waddington, New York. Whether you go east or southwest out into Lake yeah. Ontario, Truly one of the best, if not the best, premier smallmouth bass fisheries in the world right now. All right, that being said, we have so many great stories working here. The fact that it is the seventh of eight events means there's a lot of tension here. A lot of races tightening up. We've got guys trying to qualify for the Bassmaster Classic, guys trying to make enough money to make a living and be out here next year. A very important Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year race. And we look at all our stories, and number one is the story of Brandon Polnick. Here's a kid who came here having to win for a lot of reasons, and you just can't take your eyes off of this week. Exactly right. Disqualified at our last event in Wisconsin. Has to win this tournament or our next one in Detroit, Michigan to get to the Bassmaster Classic. He's that far down on the standings. That being said, he's the only angler in the field running over 100 miles into Lake Ontario. Let me put it this way. A lot of variables right now in Brandon Polinick's game plan. I needed to win there to get into the Classic, and so I really needed to win even more so here to make it to that Classic at Gunnersville. And, you know, wire to wire is great, you know, but you need to be day four is when you want to be leading um, at the end of day four, so I'm hoping we can close it out. Brandon Polinick, after the troubles at the Mississippi, said, you know what, I just got to go win the next one. Everyone thought, great attitude. Hey, he means yeah, Nobody it. really believed it, though. Look at that, 23 pounds and nine ounces on day number one, and he leads the field a commanding lead. So that story is continuing from the Mississippi River in a big, big way. Another story is, well, as we begin the second day of fishing here, Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year competition. Edwin Ebers comes in here with a 50-point lead over Aaron Martins and Kevin Van Dam, but things are happening and changing. You know, a win here would be huge. You know, Edwin's been doing well. He's been doing what he needs to be doing. Um, you know, I think today he's in 25th place, so I'm gaining some points. You know, with a 50-point lead going in, I need to gain every one that I can, you know, and a win would just be huge, not only for the number of points, but for momentum going into Lake St. Clair. We mentioned that 50-point deficit he had to Edwin Evers coming into this event. There it is. There's the leaderboard starting, and there's Edwin Evers on top. Skeet Reese. And then Kevin Van Dam, Aaron Martins, both 50 points behind. Skeet Reese is in the process of shooting himself out of this thing here as we speak on day number two. So, it's leaving those two guys. Kevin Van Dam, as we look at his season there, no top 12s, but still right there. Exactly, no top 12s. If you really look at the first half of our year, going into the second half, very, very consistent. But everybody knew coming up north, Kevin Van Dam was gonna be a major factor playing with the smallmouth. The major thing with Kevin Van Dam right now in this event, he is on him in a very big way. There he is. There's a big one. <laughs> they just pull and this current. That's a good one right there. He's got a face full of hooks too, so. Look at there. <laughs> Four pounder. Oh, I hear you. No, Kevin Van Dam would keep catching them like that, bringing in another great limit on day two 21 pounds and nine ounces to move even farther up the leaderboard, gain more ground on Edwin Evers. Van Dam, one of the only anglers in our field, fishing shallow throughout this event. A lot of anglers fishing out there in 20 to 50 feet of water. Van Dam really concentrating on that 9 to 15, and he messed them up in a big way on day number two. Now, I'm going to take a look at our tournament leader, Brandon Polinick, and really the entire story of his event so far is how far he is running. It is 70 miles just to get to the mouth of Lake Ontario. Well, that's not it. He's going another, another 30 to 40 miles out into the lake. Well, there's the conditions you need right there to get a good in. day to do it. Exactly then is what you're saying. Right. Yeah. A sheet of glass on day number two, and Brandon Pollen it gets to his primary area and really lights him up. Puts five fish in the boat within 30 minutes. Uh, 
Oh, five fish are three pounds and under. Good smallmouth to be sure, and it's great to have a limit that early on. But Brandon Polinick needing to match his pace from day number one when he caught 23 pounds, nine ounces. Still looking for that big one here on day number two. And this bass right here is actually, uh, well, this is the root of all evil. This is a blessing and a curse. A giant Lake Ontario smallmouth bass, well over five pounds. But this is where Brandon Polinick ran into problems. Get down there. Stay down, stay down. Now, wrap up. Take advantage of this. Woo! Yeah! Damn! That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what we need. Oh, that's bigger than anyone I caught yesterday. Wow! That's a big smallmouth. Holy cow. I don't think we need to tag that one. That's a big one. That one right there is pushing six. Give me some, man. Oh. Oh. You know what I just did? Two pound penalty. I got two pumped up. I'm not sure there's freaking six in there because I didn't throw one back. Not believe it. Yeah, I gotta call him and let him know. Hello. Hey, Chris, it's Brandon. Hey, what's up? Uh, just letting you know, I just gave myself a two pound penalty with having six fish in the boat. Yep, I just caught like a six pounder and was all pumped up and threw it in there and made a cast. And yep, not good, not good. So. I, I appreciate you calling that in. Yep, you're welcome. See. You. He did say bye had that going for him, but for that infraction right there, Brandon Bolinick assessed as he expected a two pound penalty, which still gives him 21 pounds and five ounces, still gives Brandon Bolinick the lead after two days. Brandon Bolinick, your leader with 44, 14. I've just, I've never been so excited. I mean, I love smallmouth fishing. I rolled up to my spot and I caught a bunch of three pounders and there was a ton of them. And I dropped down and I catch that one that's almost six pounds. And so I'm all pumped up. We're high-fiving. I hop up there, the whole school's still there. I drop down and I got about halfway down the drop and I went, oh no. Any penalty at all can ruin your day and Brandon Polinick getting that two pounder, that is not insignificant in the grand scheme of things, a four day tournament. Think about this, disqualified from our last event, hands two pounds to the rest of the field here. By the way, Brandon Polinick, not a lot of fishing time, uh, a lot of anglers, probably would need some psychiatric help after that one right there. Well, Brandon Polinick almost fixed the problem himself on the day he incurred the infraction. Take a look at what he had. He had a total of 23 pounds and five ounces, so it only went down to 21.5. The same thing befell Josh Bertrand, six fish, day two weight of 2013 down to 18.13. Charlie Hartley, 16.8 down to 14.8. and eight. So it's been a strange tournament, a very interesting tournament you can't keep your eyes off of, and we're ready to start the final day. Also, fold this in, last year, Year's tournament a year ago on Green Bay. Two guys at the top, Brandon Polinick, Jonathan Van Dam. Same situation this year. We'll get that going when we yeah, come back. Big dude. Him and I are good friends, you know, and it's great to compete against them because we kind of, you know, go blow for blow for, with each other, it seems like. You know, we get to these small mile tournaments and both of us are right there. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun, that's for sure. The Bass Master Elite Series, Evan Williams Bourbon, St. Lawrence River Showdown is brought to you by Nitro. Evan Williams Bourbon. Berkeley. And by Bass Pro Shop. Waddington, New York, the site of the seventh event, the Bassmaster Elite Series, the Evan Williams Bourbon St. Lawrence River Showdown, first time ever for the Elite Series in this amazing fishery, and what a great story we have working. As we look at our day two final results, Brandon Polinick in the lead. Brandon Polinick at our last event ran afoul of a rules infraction. Now the pressure's on him. He has to win a tournament to make it into the Bassmaster Classic, and on day two, 
Well, he was right on track. Everything was working well. Well, exactly right. Really what he did was give two strokes away in a tournament like this where weights are so tight. Brandon Polinick hoping that two pound penalty will not cost him. I had a screw up yesterday. You know, I gave away two pounds having six fish in the live well. I wish I could take that back. So far it hasn't haunted me and I just hope it doesn't come back to bite me tomorrow. Brandon Polinick, the situation he's in, he is the definition of a guy swinging for the fences. The only guy, as you mentioned, Mark Zona, who is making this 100-mile run to Lake Ontario. Well, the reason he's making this run, there's a different caliber of fish that lives out there, but getting there four days in a row, very hard to do. I will take that risk. I mean, if I have 30 or 45 minutes of fishing, I'm going. You know, it, that's what got me here, and so I'm not going to leave it. I'm going to go back to that, and that's what I'm going to do. I mean, I feel like that's my best chance at winning. And um, we'll just we'll pray that when I get there that they'll be biting. So day three, we find Brandon making the same run. A little bit worse for weather there, but there are other variables that come into play also. Absolutely right. You can run into mechanical issues. You have to stop and get gas not once, but two times. And the other thing is just hoping that your smallmouth are there when you get there, which obviously they are for Brandon Polinick here on day number three. A little bit windier, but still yeah. a solid smallmouth day. Brandon just needs to keep track of how many is in that live well. That's three, that's three, I gotta remember that. That feels like a big one. Yeah, that's a good one. That's kind of a need right there, I think. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, no, no, just out of reach. Ah, no. Come here. Quit that. Got my line wrapped my line wrapped around my hand. Yes! Oh, that's more like it right there. We need five of those right there. That's a four and a half plus. Mm. 50 anglers on this third day of competition and Brandon Polinick all alone in Lake Ontario. And as you see right there, things starting to pick up for him. We're gonna flash forward to the weigh-in. Day number three, huge crowd here in Waddington, New York. Huge, appreciative crowd. Right now, we're gonna find out if Brandon Polinick can hang on to win, to keep his dream alive. He wants to make the Classic every year and he's got a win here to do it. 20 pounds. St. Lawrence River. 20 pounds and nine ounces, no penalties this time around. Brandon Polinick takes the lead for the third consecutive day. And look who's right behind him. We mentioned this a little bit earlier. Last year, same tournament, same event last year, the seventh event. He had a duel with this guy, Green Bay, Wisconsin, small mouth fishing. And this guy, Jonathan Van Dam, came out on top. He's behind Brandon Polinick as we get ready to start our fourth and final day, the big weight of the day, brought in by Steve Kennedy from Auburn, Alabama, 23 pounds and 14 ounces, simply smashing them on the St. Lawrence River. A most impressive tournament throughout the first three days of competition. Again, we have never been here with the Bassmaster Elite Series bunch, and they are taking full advantage. And Brandon Polinick, who's only made one cut this entire year, trying to win this thing wire to wire. Jonathan Van Dam, four pounds behind him. Cliff Perch, Chad Pipkins, Kevin Hawk, a lot of youth in that top five as we head into the fourth day. Exactly, and almost every single angler in the field said before this event began, there is no way with the wind situation on Lake Ontario that you could get there for four days in a row. Well, on championship day, it is perfect conditions. We got great conditions right now, so we're getting ready to roll out here. Day four, we got about a three, three and a half pound lead, and we're gonna run out there as fast as we can and put five giants in the boat as fast as we can. We're gonna get out there. Let's make this thing happen today. We gotta close it out. Our back's against the wall, and we got one shot at making the classic right now, and that's today. So incredible to consider that out of this field of 99, only one person is making this kind of gamble. Well, there's a reason why. Uh, really, if you look at how far he is down on, in the standings, it, he's in a best case scenario. He can gamble every single day, unlike a lot of the guys that are in the classic cut. One of those guys, Jonathan Van Dam. Jonathan Van Dam electing to not make that 100 mile run. A lot of anglers knew this tournament could be won out there. High risk, high reward. 
There's just too many things that could happen making a run like that. That's why Jonathan Van Dam played it a lot safer in this tournament, only running, well, really about 35 miles, sacking up 18 to 20 every single day, and he has been fishing very, very specific areas. Well, this, this is just a little point that sticks out. It's got a current break, uh, you know, just breaks the main river current a little bit. I caught a uh, five pounder here yesterday. A lot of times in the morning they get up on top of all these high spots. You can get them to come up and eat the jerk bait or top water even, but man, I'm marking them too. Bunches of them. Just marked a big one too. You think you could see them? The water's plenty, plenty clear. It's 15 foot right here where I'm sitting on top of this thing. There's one. It's a decent one. Golly. Good start, three pounder. Three pound, I'll take him. Jonathan Van Dam, the third year man from Kalamazoo, Michigan, making a big splash here, but it is still early on in this all important championship day, the Evan Williams Bourbon St. Lawrence River Showdown. Bassmaster Elite Series, Evan Williams Bourbon Showdown on the St. Lawrence River, Waddington, New York. Seventh of eight stops in the year. Our Skeeter Boats rules of the game. Full field, almost 100 anglers to start. We're down to 12 on this fourth and final championship day. And where can you go? Anywhere on the St. Lawrence River, Lake Ontario. Bite off about as much as you want. And so far, the guy who's biting off the most is this guy, Brandon Pollen. Exactly right. And you saw that shot earlier of him gassing up, heading out on the Lake Ontario. But Tommy Sanders, another smallmouth expert. Chad oh, Pitkins yeah. from Michigan. Number one, would you look at that hair? I mean, that, you know, that's a blonde-haired John Stamos. Chad Pipkins fishing <laughs> about 200 yards from Jonathan Van Dam. And he'll tell you, fishing the Elite Series this year has been a true experience. It's fun getting to fish uh, against the legend himself. So Kevin Van Dam is one of them. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. He's a Michigan guy as well, and uh, he just catches fish. But I'm a big, big fan of Mike Iaconelli. I think he's done a lot for the sport with uh, some ant cool antics and some uh, just good emotion, man. People love that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's emotional out here, you know, whether you're kicking something over or screaming and hollering. I mean, it, it's real. There's a lot of money on the line. There's a lot at stake. So you should be kicking and hollering once in a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Right, Get down, go down, baby. Don't jump. God. Stay down, girl. Let's go for a swim, baby. That's a big one. God, stay pegged. Stay down, stay down. Nice and easy, girl. Come on. Relax, fish. Come on. Just want to take you for a ride, baby. Come on. Come here, baby. Yes! Woo! Gah! <laughs> She's down the bottom, baby. It wasn't pretty, but it worked. Yes! Oh, man. That's what we're after, baby. Woo! Right. Yeah. That wasn't pretty, but we got one of the right ones. So Chad Pipkin starting his day five and a half pounds back of our leader, Brandon Polinick with a good keeper in the boat right there. He's not out of it by any means. He'll certainly have more fishing time than Brandon Polinick in there with some weights. Uh, an interesting approach to uh, dealing with these fish that come out of deeper water, uh, trying to keep them upright, keep them going there. So Chad Pipkin's a rookie this time around. This is his second cut after seven events this year or within seven events. Now here's a another rookie, 
but he's only missed two cuts this year. That's Clifford Perch, Arizona Western Angler. A lot of experience, a rookie in name only, and doing very, very well. In fact, leading in the rookie race. We'll try to just come off that edge. You know, they're sitting right there where that current just comes right over them and they can lay out of it. It's a good ambush point, you know, you just gotta get down behind, behind that, that edge like that. I think he's pretty good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Don't do that. No jumping, no jumping. Oh, got it. Here we go. Here we go, thank you Lord, that's a good one. This is the right kind. Big small mouth. Clifford Perch, one of the group of anglers who's going east or downstream the St. Lawrence River from our headquarters in Waddington, New York. And a good fish right there. Clifford Perch coming into his own this year. And Brandon Paulnick still running. Yeah, and still running to a different caliber size of bass. A lot of the anglers that lived in the St. Lawrence River this week, Jonathan Van Dam, Chad Pipkins, Aaron Martins, these fish that live in the St. Lawrence River, and don't get me wrong, there are big ones that live in this river system. I mean, giant smallmouth, but the average size smallmouth is biting current every second of its life. And that's why guys that make that gamble, like Brandon Polinick, those fish out in the lake are just a better average size smallmouth. Aaron Martins, plagued by a lot of fish on this final day, but really hasn't caught on to a lot of the bigger ones he had caught days one through three. Aaron Martin still trying to put more points on the board for the Angler of the Year race and more as we head back over to Jonathan Van Dam again. This matchup, this duel on the final day with Brandon Polinick, it's something that he uh, he welcomes in every way. Uh, him and I are good friends, you know, and, he, and it's great to compete against them because we kind of, you know, go blow for blow for, with each other, it seems like. You know, we get to these smallmouth tournaments and both of us are right there. So, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a lot of fun, that's for sure. That's crazy, you know, a hundred mile run, you know, and I've, I've made runs like that in the Great Lakes a bunch of times. You know, you just never know what could happen. The wind could switch directions. It could get nasty in a hurry, you know. But, I mean, it's, oh, I missed one. Fairly uncommon for, to have that many days of just great weather. And I, you know, and this, that's the thing with smallmouth too. It's it's a here today, gone tomorrow kind of fish. They could very easily just vanish off the, places that he's fishing for no apparent reason you know it's that's just the nature of a smallmouth but he knows that you know he's from up north and he's obviously good enough he seems to find a winning school quite a bit you know this is a good one here Nice and easy. <laughs> That's better. That'll help. That'll help for sure. Jonathan Van Dam starting his day four pounds behind the leader, Brandon Polinick, is really just getting his fishing day started. Exactly. While other anglers were stacking chips, Brandon Polinick getting to his primary area, very well-known smallmouth area on Lake Ontario, right outside of Henderson Bay. And Polinick said, he said, really, there is no plan B. This is the only spot I have. There's one right there. That looks like a good one, too. Oh, well, he went down to it. Come on, eat it, baby. Got her. Come on. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, yeah. Come here. 
Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yes! That's a big one. That's a five pounder. That's a five pounder right there. Taking a while, but things now starting to come together in a big way for Brandon Polinick. He told us multiple times, he said, even if I can fish for 30, 35 minutes, no way I'm not going down there. Uh, and, and if you really look at the move he made in this tournament, we did, you said it really at the top of the show, you said, you know, after he was disqualified at lacrosse, he said, hey, I'm gonna win one. And we all, no, all right, sure. that a boy. Hey, what he has done here, one of the boldest moves we have ever seen in an Elite Series tournament, Brandon Polinick, well, we said it, his spot reloaded big time. Brandon, this is all of this footage is in 30 minutes of fishing. Just incredible. And Brandon Polinick again, the imperative for him is make yes. it to the classic. He came out here in 2010, made the classic that year, and he's made it every year. In all honesty, the imperative right now is put those in the live well and make it back. Can he make it back? All those things that can detract from his day, that could wreck his day, some of them are still out there, the way back being one of them. Can Brandon Polinick put them all in the boat, get a winning load, and take it back to the weigh-in? We're going to find out when we come back. It's the Bassmaster Elite Series, Evan Williams Bourbon, St. Lawrence River Showdown. Brought to you by Humminbird. Mercury. And by Minn Kota. Bassmaster Elite Series, and this is it, the Evan Williams Bourbon Showdown on the St. Lawrence River. Waddington, New York is our home base here, a great place. Appreciative crowds, especially for sites like this. Our Carhartt, big bass of the tournament, five pounds and 13 ounces by Steve Kennedy on day number three. And there's Steve Kennedy, really enjoying this tournament, getting a surprise now and then. You know, sometimes you get fish that you aren't really expecting. Exactly right. This is so many smallmouth in here. Exactly, and if you really rewind time and look at what What's going on in this river? You see Josh Bertrand, Kennedy, look at Swindle down at the bottom catching all these giant smallmouth. Well, years ago, they were not a factor here before zebra mussels and gobies. Really what happened is when the water cleared up, it gave them 20-20 vision and turned them into piranhas eating gobies. Guys like John Murray, they've survived all week on largemouth, but really not even a factor in winning this event. John Murray having one of his best seasons in a long, long time. And for the first season ever on the Bassmaster Elite Series, for this man, originally from out west, Kevin Hawk, an accomplished angler. And he's one of the guys making a big splash out here, spending most of his time in an area also populated by Jonathan Van Dam. You can see it on the graph. Suspended right above the bottom. Oh, geez. Big fish. Come back there, come back there. Come back, come back. That's the kind of live here. St. Lawrence smallmouth. That is a dadgum stud. Kevin Hawk having a big time here at the St. Lawrence River. Kevin Hawk, a big day on day number three. That's what propelled him into the top five with over 22 pounds. Still starts his day five and a half pounds behind this man, Brandon Pollock. That feels big. 
No, don't jump, don't jump. That's a big one. That's a big one. Come here, come here. Come here. Nice and easy. Let's make this easy on everybody. Yes, sir. It's at least a four pounder. Close to it, at least. I don't really remember anyone ever calling their shot in this game, but Brandon Polnick says, hey, I got to go. I'm going to win this tournament. And since day one, he's been in complete control. And he's done it with one primary technique. And take a look right now at our Humminbird Advanced View right here. And if you look at Brandon Polnick's key spot, fishing outside of a major spawning flat in Henderson Bay, and he was concentrating on 20 to 30 feet of water. And the key was broken up rock. Wherever that rock met sand, that a little, little irregularity, that's where the smallmouth were at. He was using a Berkeley twitch tail minnow almost the entire event. Hey, Brandon, let's uh, let's start from the beginning. How, tell us about your day, the the travel, and uh, the time it took you to get there, and how much fishing you've been able to get in so far today. Yeah, I I got down here um, in about two hours this morning, uh, maybe even a little bit less, and so I was pretty excited about that. You know, the conditions were what the weather channel said they were gonna be. That doesn't happen very often. And pulled up to the first spot and caught them quick. I caught one almost five, and I caught another one almost five, and another four pounder, and a four pounder. And I mean, I feel good right now. I still have about an hour and a half of fishing left where I can comfortably get back in time. Um, so if I could get another five pounder or two, I'd be feeling really good. Great job so far, and Brennan, a couple of things have a fairy tale aspect about this whole deal here. Yeah, Number I, I would say you're right on that. <laughs> Two improbable yes. things. One, you had all the trouble, lost your day at our last Elite Series event on the Mississippi River. You said, I'm going to come back and win this next tournament. And, and we said you were nuts. Uh, yeah, we said come we, back we, from we, believe, mentally. we believe in you, but we also believe you're nuts to reality. And, and, and also, on this final day, a year to the date, after you match up with Johnny Van Dam at Green Bay, you again are one and two on the final day of a tournament. How do two things like that even happen? <laughs> I don't know. I think uh, he said it this morning. Yeah, we both grew up in the north. Uh, we both love smallmouth fishing and the techniques to catch them. Um, and so I think just having that understanding allows us to get into that position, you know, get in that one two position. Well, good luck to you, Brandon. What a story. And, uh, uh, man, hats off. Thanks for just surprising safe the Safe getting back. Yeah, it's safe getting back. You you think Unbelievable. That leaving at 1230, you'll have enough time to get back, barring whatever may happen. Yeah, the weather, weather says that the wind's supposed to start picking up about noon, you know, 12, 1230. Um, and so if I can get out of here around then, I'll be happy, you know, get out of here and get at least back in the river safe. And then we got the poker run to deal with, so... That'll be interesting. Pa, 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 poco run. By the poker run, he means a lot of big boats on Lake Ontario up and down, causing a lot of wake, a lot of waves. But he's dealt with a lot of adversity to get to that spot. Four days running. Getting home is his last hurdle to get over. And Brandon Polinick looking pretty good in his quest to win and make it to the Bassmaster Classic for a fourth consecutive year. Can he get it done? We're going to find out when we come back. Bassmaster Elite Series Evan Williams Bourbon Showdown here on the St. Lawrence River, upstate New York. Waddington is our home base here, and what a great, great area and fantastic smallmouth fishing. All these guys have been looking forward to this event for a long, long time. These guys love the smallmouth fishing, and I can tell you, one guy who's particularly in love with it is Bernie Schultz. Although he's from Florida, he is an ace with the smallmouth, having a great tournament here, including 23 pounds plus on day number two. Exactly right. Bernie Schultz having a big event. In fact, if you really were to add up Bernie Schultz's top 12s in the state of New York, Bernie likes to see the whole Elite Series up here. The big shallow water smallmouth right here. And as you see, this is perfect. 
perfect textbook small mouth conditions. Bernie Schultz with 18-7 on day one and 23-5 on day two. Now back out to Jonathan Van Dam fishing right outside of Morristown. And Jonathan Van Dam had a big deficit this morning. Has to do something to put some bigger ones in the boat. All right, where do you think you're at right now in terms of, of how much uh, how much more chance you have to upgrade this already good catch that you have? Have you, you got a lot of upside there? I think I've got about about 19 pounds right now. Uh, I lost a couple great big ones first thing this morning. Uh, you know, I'm just hoping, you know, I can kind of make those up. You know, I, uh, I just now caught one and it had like a six pounder with it and uh, it wasn't big enough to help though. Hey, Jonathan, have you thought about, I mean, obviously Brandon's been on a different caliber bass the first three days of this event. Have you thought about scrapping your game plan coming into this final day? You know, I, I did. I thought about it and, uh, you know, I just didn't practice the lake. I, you know, I kind of figured that's where it might be one at maybe. I, uh, I've spent my whole time in this river, so I feel like uh, I just got to stick with my game plan and, and uh, try to upgrade as much as possible. Jonathan, so far you've really been, out of this entire field, you've been the king of at least the St. Lawrence River. Why have you outfished everybody around you this week? Uh, you know, this area I'm in has got a lot of fish, and uh, you know, I'm just very comfortable up here fishing for smallmouth, and I've, I've really learned to read my electronics, and, and uh, you know, I, feel, I really feel like just by looking at my electronics and stuff, I can tell if one's gonna bite or not. Just by the way that it's acting on the bottom, you know, and I can tell what kind of baits to throw and stuff like that. You know, a lot of the fish this morning uh, were real tight to the bottom, so I was throwing a tube at that point. And, uh, you know, this afternoon they started moving around a little bit, and you can see them up off the bottom, so I've switched to the, to the drop shot and, uh, you know, seem to be having more success with that. So, I, you know, I'm just going to keep grinding it out out here. I know, uh, you know, I caught 24-something. Uh, out here in practice in this area so i know the big ones are around all right well we're very anxious to see what you come back with 24 would make it a very oh, interesting yes. day yes. and and somewhere around that you know there's no telling what's going to happen in the final hours of this day good luck to you jonathan van dam on this matchup with brandon polinick a year to the date after green bay when you prevail we'll see what happens when we get back thanks a lot jonathan all right thanks guys Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Easy. Easy. He'll help. Jonathan Van Dam started out in 2011 on the Bassmaster Elite Series and made a top five his very first event. A storied career for this young man, but here's a guy with another impressive young career, Brandon Pollock. Well, like we said it earlier, Brandon Pollock has the perfect storm. He could have rolled the dice the entire week and driven nine million miles like he's done. The other anglers that are on that classic bubble, they have not had that benefit in this event. They had to play it a little bit safer, really, Brandon Polinick's entire year was on the line here. Honestly, getting into the Classic, yeah. and we already know that Birmingham shows out as far as fans, but we're going to one of the best lakes in the country right now, in the world, um, at that time of year. I mean, that's one of the best times to fish that place, and so records are gonna be broken. You know, We're gonna have the fans, so that's not one you wanna miss. You know, you win here, you win 100,000. If you win the Classic, that's 500,000. If you're not there, you don't have a shot at it. Oh, she almost jumped in the boat. She almost jumped right on the front deck. I don't know if she'll help or not, but she didn't look little. Ah, ah. Come back up here. Nope. 
No, 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 don't jump. Quit that. Just come up here nice and easy. Get her in the waves. Yes. I think that one's gonna call. I think that one's gonna call. Which is a good thing, that's a giant. <laughs> oh, look at that thing. St. Lawrence River is probably one of the best smallmouth fisheries on the planet. Take a look at this day that Brandon Polinick is having. Take away all the circumstances. Who wouldn't trade with him to have a day on the water like this? But when you wrap in the fact that this is an absolute must-win situation on this final day for him to make the Bassmaster Classic, which you just said was more important than winning the tournament, to go out and do something like this, to put this thing away virtually is unbelievable. It's the Diet Mountain Dew breakthrough move of the event, Tommy Sanders. Really, after we found out the first day of the tournament, how far he was going, we said, well, that was a nice day catch. He'll never get back. Well, he got back every single day and then put the fish in the live well and made it back to the weigh-in. Tommy Brandon Polinick, that is the breakthrough move. Yeah, Diet Mountain Dew, it's that good. And boy, we've got a crowd. Look how good this one is. Giant crowd here in Waddington, New York for the weigh-in, which is coming up. It's the Bass Master Elite Series. Evan Williams Bourbon, St. Lawrence River Showdown. Brought to you by Yamaha. Triton Boats. Toyota. And by Skeeter Boats. Check it out. We got the entire crowd behind us in Waddington, Augensburg, the entire upper New York state. We're about to weigh in day four right here on the St. Lawrence River. Check it out, Bassmaster Elite Series, guys. Hey, the Bassmaster Elite Series, pretty popular up in upstate New York. Look at this crowd at Waddington, the biggest of the year for the Bassmaster Elite Series. They love their bass fishing, they love their bass fishing heroes. We're gonna have a brand new one when we crown our winner here. Take you to the weigh-in stage and the man who won Rookie of the Year title with the Bassmaster Elite Series. Also won Toyota Trucks All-Star event. Year before last on the Alabama River, Tennessee's Ot Defo. 20 pounds even, an excellent final day. It'll put him in the hot seat. Aaron Martins, he's the fellow who won Toyota Trucks All-Star Week last year in Illinois. Former Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year as well. And Aaron Martins, pretty good day out there for himself. Not moving up into the hot seat with 1815 on this fourth and final day of competition. How about Jonathan Van Dam started the day, the closest to Brandon Polinick. Let's see what he's got. Let's see if he can take over the hot seat while we await Brandon Polinick. And there it is, Jonathan Van Dam, 19 pounds and 10 ounces. He's in the hot seat. We have one angler left, the very same one that we have had since day number one. A three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier rolled in here with his back against the wall and came out swinging from Rathdrum, Idaho. Powerful Brandon Pollinick! Five fin freaks of nature, and he has got just that. Boom shakalaka, giant bass for powerful Brandon Pollinick. Started today with 65.7, needs 15, 14. 23 pounds, five ounces. 23 pounds, five ounces. Powerful Brandon Pollock becomes a two-time Bassmaster Elite Series champion. And guarantees his birth to the 2014 Bassmaster Classic. 88 pounds, 12 ounces. The Evan Williams Bourbon St. Lawrence River Showdown belongs to powerful Brandon Pollock. 
Uh, this is a fairy tale ending. I don't think we've ever seen anything like this before on the Bassmaster Elite Series. And really, we said it. If you were to, to poll the rest of Brandon Polinick's peers, they said there is no way his game plan could come together with how many variables he was up against. Truly, one of the most remarkable performances we have ever seen. St. Lawrence River has its first ever champion. He is Brandon Polinick. And Brandon, we've been beating this to death all week. When you had your troubles at the Mississippi River, a lot of guys would have folded up. You said, hey, I I'm just going to go win the next one. Everybody thought, what a great attitude this kid has. Hey, what a great Oh, go, man, go. You were serious. You planned to do it, and you did it. You know, I didn't know if it could actually happen, but that's exactly what I wanted to do and feel very fortunate that we were able to make it happen at literally the next event. If you can, you talk about what you went through mentally after the Mississippi River, then a penalty here. Did you get to the point after day two, were you thinking, <laughs> what is next for, yeah, for me? I honestly didn't know. I, I was pretty devastated out on the water for about 30 minutes after I, I pulled that. Because, I mean, there was such a giant school, and I dropped down, and I catch one almost six pounds, the biggest smallmouth I caught on this body of water all week. And I knew that the rest of them there were probably the same size. And I was so excited, I threw that one in the live well, and I didn't even get halfway back down to the bottom and I realized what I did and reeled up, called the tournament director and said, you know, I just gave myself a two pound penalty. And it, it took me 30 minutes to get it through my mind to get over it where I could focus back on fishing. I'm not gonna lie though, the two pound penalty made it closer so we actually had a story here. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, You're get, welcome. Get more consistent, but also do some crazy things every now and then too that we love the drama. <laughs> we, we gotta have some of that, we gotta have some of that. Let's You're hear welcome. it one more time for our champion, the Evan Williams Bourbon River Showdown. All right.